Yeah, I thought like, okay, all your metal is going to sound like pretty much the same, but this sounds quite a bit different from the other stuff that you gave me. Welcome back to Dastardly Hamster, where we try to convert each other to our favorite bands. Liam, you enjoyed Freak on a Leash, which means I get to show you a second song by Korn. And if you like this one, I'll get to show you a third. So this one you were telling me is a little bit different from the first one. Uh, I feel like the first one is probably their more well-known song. Maybe it's more appealing to that mainstream audience than this one is. So I do think this one might be off the map, a bit. I had to show you Freak on a Leash first because that's the song that you start with. The second one I chose because I think you specifically will like it. Are you ready? Okay, so that was interesting. We're starting on one note, and I thought, okay, this is the note the rest of the song is going to sort of play in. Then we went one higher. So I love when songs do that. They don't usually do it this early. Usually I would expect it to come like maybe the last chorus will do it. They'll go like one higher. But we're doing it in the intro. I'm, I'm very curious about where this goes. saying this time I'm taking it away I've got a problem with me getting in the way not by design so it sounds like this person is trying to get over something and they themselves are the problem but then the next line when it says not by design that makes me think they're trying their best even though they're the problem it's not their fault and I know there's some like contradicting messages but I think it can be true where it's like you can acknowledge your own faults, but something caused you to be that way. One thing that I find really interesting about this era of music, there was a lot of focus on mental health and self-reflection. Mm. Before metal, basically, almost everything was like love songs. You get like some protest music and stuff like that, but almost everything was overwhelmingly love songs. And then at least you started to get metal and punk that would have some societal messages. <laughs> love the backup harmonies. It's like my favorite thing. Love that they're doing it here. I also noticed, I think that bass guitar had five strings. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And it is a very bass heavy band. Right. So. <laughs> For what's inside of waking, I'm not a whore. I don't think this is a sexual... No. I don't know. In, in this case, it just sounds like they're being used for something and they've taken everything from them and they can't give any more. This relationship is toxic and they're trying to leave it. Yeah, generally, corn is more self-reflection. Instead of, you know, like talking about breaking off a, a partner relationship, more it's like talking about breaking things off with himself or breaking off his own patterns or like the demands of society, that type of thing. And then the line, you've taken everything. I mean, you, I guess, could be anything. It doesn't have to be like a specific person. It could even be referring to themselves.
That's his mic, by the way. vocalist was that him or is that like a female vocalist it sounds really high pitched. no they're all male i think it's another vocalist but i could be wrong about that i really like it i thought it i say this a lot but i love when two vocal styles aren't the same like they're very different and they're singing at the same time i love the harmony that that creates for me it's actually the opposite i dislike that part of the song but i like what comes after it and what it leads into and the shock that it creates in me enough that i let it go but it's not it's not my favorite part of the song So I liked when it, it went really hard and it was like, bring it down, bring it down. I mean, it used a lot of repetition there, but I don't mind that. I think that's fine, especially if they're trying to get across a specific message. And because this is like the bridge and this is like the one point it's happening, I think it's okay. I think that was also the hardest part of the song so far. So I really enjoyed that. So what I really liked about the ending is I love when bands will take what they've been doing up until that point and slowly start removing instruments or vocals. It breaks the song down into like each individual component. I really like that. I felt that went a little long doing that. I would have preferred it a little bit shorter, but I still liked it overall. I have to give this a four. I thought it was really good. Uh, the backup vocals were something that I thought were really strong. The guitar was heavy. I think the lyrics are important. Yeah, it just sounds like, you know, coming out of something and like giving yourself the ability to not be too hard on yourself. It says, you know, I don't want to grieve anymore. Allowing yourself to acknowledge that you have to change, but also not like being so down on yourself. You have to have some means of achieving your resolution. Your rating? Five out of five. Love this song. It's like, it's the the frequency of my soul you know like i just I hear this song right and i'm at peace just the right sound to just make my brain just have a break and i love that it's just constant sound i've talked before about that i love the big heavy sounds Mm -hmm. uh, that sounds like Godzilla is walking nearby yeah but this song also has that feeling of the real turning that i love so much yeah so to me it's like Godzilla on a bike and I just, I just love that feeling. It's just, just constant, constant noise. It's one of those songs that hits me in a way that few other songs can. Yeah, I think the thing that I got most out of hearing these two songs was just the realization that your window of appreciation is larger than I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, I thought like, okay, all your metal is going to sound like pretty much the same, but this sounds quite a bit different from the other stuff that you gave me. That's it for us, Hamstar. Spin your reel down to that subscribe button. And give us a dastardly thumbs up.